Welcome back to the Best PT Podcast. This is episode 2.10, discussing manual muscle tests. So, manual muscle tests have a common grading scale. Starting from the bottom, a 0 out of 5 indicates no palpable muscle contraction. A 1 out of 5 is considered trace. Some contraction is palpable, but no joint movement occurs. A 2 minus out of 5 a poor minus, the patient cannot complete full range of motion in a gravity eliminated position. 2 out of 5, poor, patient can complete full range of motion in gravity eliminated position. A 2 plus out of 5, a poor plus, patient can initiate some movement against gravity. 3 minus out of 5, fair minus, patient completes more than half of the full range of motion against gravity. A 3 out of 5, fair, completes range of motion against gravity without any additional resistance. A 3 plus out of 5, fair plus, the patient can complete full range of motion against gravity with minimal resistance. 4 minus out of 5, a good minus, the patient can complete full range of motion against gravity with minimal or moderate resistance. A 4 out of 5, good, the patient can complete range of motion against gravity with moderate resistance. A 4 plus out of 5, good plus, the patient can complete full range of motion against gravity with moderate to maximal resistance, and a 5 out of 5, or normal, the patient can complete full range of motion against gravity with maximum resistance. Testing positions for different muscles. Starting in supine, you can test the abdominals, the biceps, finger flexion, hip flexion, neck flexion, the pec minor, pronators, serratus anterior, the TFL, thumb muscles, tibialis posterior, toe flexors, wrist extensors, anterior deltoid, brachioradialis, finger extensors, infraspinatus, shoulder rotation, both internal and external, pec major, all of the peroneals, sartorius, forearm supination, teres minor, tibialis anterior, toe extensors, triceps, and the wrist flexors. So as you can see, the majority of muscles can be tested in supine. In sideline, you test the gluteus medius, the gluteus minimus, hip adductors, as well as the abdominal obliques. In prone, you can test the erector spinae muscles, the gastrocnemius, gluteus maximus, hamstrings, shoulder rotators, both external and internal rotators, the latissimus dorsi, the trapezius muscles, rhomboids, posterior deltoid, neck extensors, the quadratus lumborum, teres major, soleus, and triceps. Moving on to sitting, the coracobrachialis, the deltoids, the hip flexors, hip rotators, upper trapezius fibers, quadriceps, and serratus anterior. And finally, in standing, you can test ankle plantar flexion in the serratus anterior. You may have heard a couple duplicates, and that's normal. There are some muscles where multiple testing positions are considered against gravity. That's it for episode 2.10, manual muscle testing. As always, the outline will be in the show notes. The next episode, 2.11, will discuss goniometry. Thank you.